Hey guys, what's going on? Hendrix over here, and I'm back with another tip video. So, uh, if you've been playing Call of Duty Ghost, you might have seen the perks, and there was a perk that caught my eye, and it's called the ICU. It's in the resistance category, and what it does is it makes your health regenerate faster when you're getting shot at. And, uh, you know what? It's really vague. It's only a three word description, so it doesn't tell us how much faster, how much faster the health regenerates. It's, it's just really vague, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some tests, see how much faster it actually is, and give my thoughts on that. Um, you know, I'll let you know if, if I think it's overpowered and stuff like that, so enjoy. So the first test we're going to conduct is shooting the player without the ICU perk. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to inflict a light damage on the player. And that's essentially when there's not much blood being displayed on the screen. So it's happening right now, and that's going to take about 6.2 seconds to fully heal up. Now we're going to move on to a heavy damage which is when there's a whole bunch of blood on the screen, the blood's more vibrant, happening right now and that is going to take 6.9 seconds to fully heal up. Uh, so we can tell that the heavy damage takes takes longer to, to heal up than the light damage. So now we're going to move on to shooting the player with the ICU perk and as, as the previous test we're going to do a light damage and then a heavy damage. So here we go light damage. It's happening right now and it took 3.1 seconds to heal and now we're going to do the heavy damage and this is going to take 4.8 seconds. There you go. Timer 4.8 seconds. So let's recap. So without the ICU perk your health will take 6.2 seconds to regenerate with light damage and 6.9 seconds with heavy damage. Now with the ICU perk uh, light damage will take 3.1 seconds, which is 50% faster than without ICU, and heavy damage will take 4.8 seconds, which is 30% faster than without ICU. So, you know, they both have pretty significant numbers, you know. The light damage is faster with ICU to, to regenerate than the heavy damage with ICU, but, you know, they're both pretty significant. So, in terms of if I think they're overpowered, no, I do not think this perk is overpowered because the way Call of Duty works is that once someone gets a shot on you, they're usually going to finish you up. Uh, it rarely happens that you get to run away, you know. I guess, let's just say, 85% of the time, once someone shoots you, you're, you're pretty much done. If they, if they got shots on you and you didn't, you know, someone's going to lose there. The other 15% of the time, you might uh, run away and get to cover, and that's where this where this perk will come in handy. So, you know, I really don't think it's overpowered, uh, but I do think this is a great perk, especially if you're someone who runs and guns a lot. You know, just the nature of that playstyle is get into a fight and be prepared for your next one. So, if your health is regenerating a lot quicker, uh, you know, that's definitely an advantage. Also, it only takes up two perks out of your eight perk slots. Uh, so that's really great. You know, it's a, it's a low low tier kind of perk. So, but it's still really useful. So there you have it. Uh, it's a great perk, but I also do not think it's overpowered. So if you learned something new, please leave a like rating. And if you have your own thoughts on on this perk, please leave a comment below. And also subscribe to my channel because. A uh, small channel like mine, it helps me out so much knowing that people are actually watching my videos and they're, and they're liking them. So, there you have it. So, have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.